Eagles still in this game in the divisional round of the NFC playoffs. The Saints 20, the Eagles 14. A field goal does them no good. Foles. First and 10. He gets it to Sproles, and he is shut down quickly. Nothing there. Block ticking, 215, 214. Yeah, and Nick has some room to communicate a little bit. They go no huddle. Foles takes the snap again. He steps up. And it is intercepted. It is intercepted. It is picked off. And going back with the football of a 34-yard line, the Saints have it. You never think that the current game you're playing in is going to be the final game. Um, even though as football players, you understand that your play, your season could be cut short at any time. Um, but that's never in, in your thought process. In that game against the Saints, we felt like we were going to go down and score a touchdown, win the game, and go to the NFC Championship again. And um, last play, um, devastated. They're in a great situation, moving the ball against this defense, and goes right through the hands of a sure-handed receiver. And just like that, Philadelphia's hopes for a second straight Super Bowl disappeared. While the disappointment of 2018 was still fresh, talk of the 2019 season had already started. The Eagles' incredible run has come to an end. Take a look at the emotion coming off the field. Doug Peterson waited for all of his players to leave the field and gave them hugs. This team is so close, and they say they will be back in the playoffs next year, but they know some of their teammates won't be back. Last year, I was so convinced that it was my last year. I know that I was older. I was 31, you know, um, and I know how they feel about, you know, guys being older. And so uh, I really just thought that this was my my chance to see what it's like to kind of bounce around. You know, don't know what the future holds, but you know, if we're gonna go out, we're gonna go out like that. You know? Obviously I want to be back in Philly, but uh, I just didn't know if I still, you know, uh, had a shot. For defensive end Brandon Graham, Philly is the only NFL home he's ever known. He was drafted by the Eagles in 2010 and has been a resounding presence ever since. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> hey, little 14, boy, I'm coming! <laughs> in the final minutes of Super Bowl 52, Graham's strip sack of Tom Brady all but sealed Philadelphia's first NFL title. There is the amazing movement by Brandon Graham. It couldn't have come at a better time. Making the moment even sweeter was Graham's daughter, Emerson. Yeah, we knew we was playing. So it was only fitting one year later. Fly, Eagles, fly. When she reprised the Eagles fight song to announce her father's new contract. Yeah, she was excited because all she know is the Eagles. And, um, and she always say every weekend, Daddy, I'm ready to go to the Eagles show. I'm so excited to go back to the Eagles show. You are? Yeah. Okay. I'm like, yeah, the Eagles show, baby. We about to get it on. And so, um, baby girl, um, you know, it's, it's something that now I got baby boy. Hopefully I'm still here till he's three. And then, um, you know, he'll be saying almost similar to what she's saying. Um, this year, going into week one, I think um, just from our expectation alone from the team, you know, uh, we got a really, really good shot to do do some special things. But we know uh, coming off that Super Bowl year, we know that it's, it's not going to just, we can't just talk about it. We got we to gotta do it one, one day at a time. It was a big relief uh, signing back to Philly because I felt like the way we lost against the Saints, um, you know, I, I really felt like we had unfinished business. 
I'm just happy that, uh, you know, I'm actually back.